Lately, a lot of nail techs are mixing different nail brands, using one brand of color and another brand of top UV gel. Many say there's no proof that this is dangerous and the products are hardened, so why can't we blend them? Well, this is odd because it's those who say you can mix nail coating products that don't have any proof. What's their proof? How can they know this is true? What do they base their information on? Most likely, their beliefs are based on a lack of understanding about what they see and an ignorance of how these products work. Or maybe it's just on their wishful thinking. There's plenty of proof that these products can cause skin allergies when used improperly. So for those people who say there's no proof, simply, show, show, simply shows that they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, it would be extremely foolish for anyone to try and say that this doesn't happen all the time. I'm a scientist who's researched this question for more than 25 years. My opinions are based on scientific testing and fact-based information. There is absolutely no doubt that mixing products as you, as you described can lead to skin irritation and permanent allergic reactions, and it happens all the time. This is, of course, assuming the products are not properly cured, which is really what happens. And this has been recognized by several governments and safety-related authorities in several different countries. Now, I don't sell any nail products or nail lamps, so why would I say this if I didn't believe these were the facts? What some don't understand is that each of these product layers would have to be properly cured, which I've said many times in many other videos, that a proper cure requires the following. Exposure to the correct wavelengths of UV using the proper intensity and for the required length of time. All three of these must be correct to ensure a proper cure. There's no other way to ensure a proper cure. And each layer must be properly cured. In other words, each layer would need to be properly cured using the UV lamp that was designed to cure that product. Wait a minute, a different nail lamp for every layer? Well, we all know that's not likely to happen. <laughs> what these nail techs don't understand when they made the statement is that UV gels will only harden when, will harden, I should say, when they're only 50% cured. And they may only reach 60 to 70% cure over the next few weeks. When the undercured layer is later filed, both the nail tech and the client are exposed to undercured dust. That's a great way, or a bad way, I should say, to develop skin allergies. Now, many so-called manufacturers don't understand this e either. <laughs> That's really because they're actually private labelers and only sell products. Most don't understand the science behind the products they sell. That's why they don't teach this information correctly. The biggest risk of developing adverse skin reactions is to nail professionals themselves, since they're exposed daily to these undercured nail coating dust. Now, I've personally tested the curing of various products under different types of nail lamps. So I can tell you that it would not be uncommon for a nail technician to only cure a UV gel to 60 to 70% cure. In fact, that's far too common. Nail techs who expose themselves to these conditions often develop skin allergies. For some, it may require six months of prolonged and repeated skin contact. For others, it may take 10 years of exposure. But sadly, once you're allergic, you will be allergic for the rest of your life to those ingredients. I get emails from nail techs who are desperate to save their careers, and they want to know what they can do to stop their skin from overreacting to the products. The facts are, sooner or later, many nail techs and clients will develop permanent allergic reactions because of improper cure. I hear this from many nail techs to which this happens. They're usually very embarrassed and don't want me to use their names on Facebook. And they don't want other nail techs to know about their issues because often they're leading nail educators who've improperly cured and mixed products for years. And now they have skin allergies that worsen with each exposure. Many nail technicians are forced to get out of the industry because they can no longer work with nail products. Here's a hint. Take a look at the hands of some veteran nail trainers who teach these risky methods, and you'll find that many have product sensitivities. And that's not a coincidence. Don't copy their bad habits or repeat their same mistakes. Work safely and enjoy your career for a long time.